Okay, so confirmed. All you have to do is remove these bolts right here. Remove the ones that go in the front bumper along here. Pry off that tab, pry off that tab. And then you can lift the front bumper kind of up a little bit, get an extension and pry this up to where the extension will just slide right up in there and get to the bolt that's on here. This will make this top part loose like this. Then get under here, remove this liner right here. Just take these bolts off and take these uh, rivets off. This will drop down and then you can get to the bolts right here. Oh, it's on the pan, I don't like that. But you get to the bolts right here, that will hold the fender and the bumper together. Once you have that, you don't need to remove this, but you can if you want. Um, get in there and just, you know, take off the three bolts that go onto the, uh, the headlights and then pry it out. This front bumper will be loose enough right here basically to get that out the way and then this will be loose enough right here to get it out the way and that's really it. I didn't touch any of that stuff right there on this side and nothing else pretty much. On this side I did and yeah it did make it easier but I didn't have to do it when I learned on that side so I just didn't do it on that side. So we have both headlights out. That's one. That is the driver side, passenger side and we got to work on getting the heat gun because I'm going to try the heat gun method to get these off. So. I'm gonna get these little gaskets off right here, which I'll show y'all a quick little glimpse of it. Uh, where's my flathead? Looking for my flathead screwdriver. Oh, it's on that side. Gotta be careful, because I was just messing around seeing how the headlight works, and I broke one of these like little black tabs off on this headlight. But good, I mean, the headlight's already on there with the glue, so. It won't affect anything, but I just didn't like it. I did that. Take all these little things off right here. Just get under here with a flathead and just pry it up as you go. And then you just take all these off. So I'm going to do that now. That's basically the gasket. So I'm going to get this shit off right here. And then, um, okay, I just discovered something. So these rubber gaskets, these are OEM rubber gaskets. You can actually just kind of pry this shit off of it around the edge. And it will actually just come off of it like that. That way you can just take this and get this off without having to worry about ripping the gasket. So I just discovered that. So let me just go ahead and pull this off all the way around to get it off with that edge. That edge. This little tab as well. This one's kind of tough, hold on. I know, don't look at my gloves. It's just dirty as hell, I know. Just need one more. I know two more. So we got the last little screw right here, as you can see. So I need to put this down for a sec. Hold on. Got it. And now the gasket is off. Now I can probably reuse these gaskets. Whether I will or not, I don't know, because I do have new ones. So whether I actually will or not, I don't know. But there we go. Now, they're just ready to get a heat gun, soak up the edges, just like that. Sorry, I wasn't even showing it, my bad. Soak up the edges with the heat gun and just slowly pry it off. So, let's get it, y'all. All right, so I tried to take off these studs right here. They are connected to like the little black part that's on the inside of the headlight. And um, there's three of them. There's one right here, one right here, and one right here. But these studs, right, if you look in here, my finger is right right there that's a 10 millimeter or a nine millimeter uh, bolt or nut right when you get a nine millimeter wrench on there that stud in the middle just keeps spinning with it so I don't have any type of nine millimeter wrench for anything that could I could get to hold the stud and then spin that nut off of it I don't have like a hollow I don't have nothing so I'm gonna just break it because on the other headlight lens I ended up breaking it without even realizing that I had to take it off and it went back together fine. So I'm gonna just go ahead and break it and call it a day. I got nothing else I can do, so. 
We'll see how it goes. I think it'll go fine, but obviously we're just gonna use this nice little heat gun. And then, uh, where's my, we're gonna use this thing right here that you can get it inside the panel, boom, and pry it apart. And then I'm gonna use my normal little flathead screwdriver. So let's get to it. Different places Depends on who you know Deciding who I show Oh my face is high Till someone is dealing Never had a face worth seeing Moving something more coming Alright, so now we gotta get all of the glue out of this channel, basically all the way around the perimeter. So the way I did this last time was I grabbed my heat gun and I just started somewhere. Uh, let's see, I could I just I just start right here on this one. So I heat it up. Basically, get it nice and hot. Once I get it like this, I'll grab my flathead. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's in here. And I'll just start peeling this glue out pretty much the best I can. Um, this isn't going to be easy. It took me a while to do this last time. So. I start peeling it out like that. And then I get it, do I get this whole little section off? That's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it. I'll just get a channel of it, and I'll get it out of there like that. And I'll just get the whole edge pretty much, all the way around. So we'll take care of that. And then um, I'm just using this flathead to kind of get in there and just peel around pretty much, and I'm kind of like, Scraping the edges off, and I'm just trying to get it all off pretty much. So.
got it. Oh, this whole piece came out together. Thank God. There's a couple things that I want to do before I, uh, oh shit, oh, damn, sorry. There's a couple things I want to do before I even get this apart all the way. So, for one, I want to get this off, right? So, this, these little bolts that hold this in, obviously these ones back here with the little studs that I couldn't get out, so I just broke them out pretty much. Um, but it'll be fine because as you see, it's pretty sturdy in there without it even, you know, being attached right here. And these bolts that are still in here that go into this part, it's still going to, once you put everything back together, it's going to go into this. It won't be torqued or whatever, but it'll be in this. It'll hold it steady. So it's not a big deal that it's off. It's not a big deal. But these need to come off because these are holding on our lens, obviously. This is a T... T something, T10. I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a T10. So T10 Torx, like stars, Torx, whatever you call it. Something like that, so yeah. Let's get these off. Now, when you're doing this, if you break these off like I did, there's only going to be four of these little star bolts that you got to take out. And then that's it. The whole thing will come out. And this just separates that, like the headlight housing part that goes on top of the headlights from the actual lens itself. See? It separates this. So, as you can see, mine is like super dusty, super dirty. So I'm going to clean this, polish it, clean it, polish it, and then go from there. Why is this scuffed right here what the hell i don't know what could have did that but regardless of the fact it doesn't matter now so this is don dish soap right here and just some water and i'm just gonna take this and i'm just gonna spray this down let me point this down a little more for you guys i'm sorry just like that See how good that looks? Wet. Looks amazing, right? Take one of these tiles in here. I'll take a one I haven't touched yet. And I'll just wipe the dust out of this. And honestly, you probably don't have to polish this. It actually looks pretty good just when you clean it like this. Like, it looks pretty decent. Um, but you gotta think, there's really nothing that gets in here. And the lens of the headlight protects, you know, this from actually, uh, you know, getting hurt by the sun or whatever. So, you could just take this, this little, these little pieces, these three pieces out, just by using the same T uh, T10 Torx to get the back part of it out. Pull them off and then just paint this shit, like repaint it gloss black. That could work. Clear coat it or some shit. Get it nice and like glistening. Get some candy in there too, like a candy clear coat. Oh, that would look crazy. But other than that, man, it's really easy to do. Really easy to deal with. So my microfiber is really dusty, so I'm not gonna use this again. Put that on the ground. But uh, that's pretty uh pretty good already. Now I'm gonna take some alcohol. No, I'm not. I'm gonna take another little wipe. I can find. I'm gonna get some of this debris up out of here because I want to throw some polish on here real quick. So get some polish on here. The other one I did like twice. I'm going to just polish this one like one good time and call it a day. doesn't need nothing crazy. So, we'll, uh, get some of this polish spray on here. Uh, polish spray. This is just a ultimate compound polish, right? I'm going to just use some of this. We're going to put a generous amount because, like I said, the other one I did two times, but this one I'm only going to do one good time. So, I'll just put a nice good amount like that. Oh, that kind of splashed on me somewhere. Where did it go? I don't know, but it splashed somewhere. Go ahead and dab it around. I'll get it on everything that I can get it on pretty much. You, obviously you can't get in all the little cracks and crevices in here, but you can get it in most spots and it'll be just fine. So and that's it. Make sure you get the edges too. And just Get in here and start polishing up pretty much. That's it. Ah. 
I'm pretty much done with this. Um, all I do is just, like I said, just, I just polish it up with some polishing compound from Meguiar's. And the one mistake I did make is I was using like my nail, I was having the, uh, one of these little rags or whatever, these uh, shop rags, and I was just kind of like getting in there and getting the little crevices out, but it actually left some like scratchings in here and there's nothing I can do. I don't really care at this point. I'm just gonna finish it up like this, but, and you won't really notice it when it's in the car, but yeah. I'll show you the scratches right now. So if y'all do the same thing, be you see the scratches right there, on top of uh, on top of this part, like uh, it's like right here, All right? So if y'all do this on y'all's own, just be careful using your nail. Don't make the mistake I made. But now one thing I did notice about these lenses is uh, the OEM lenses they have like these vent holes, right? And these vent holes are at the bottom. So if this is the top, this would be like the bottom right here. This is the top part. So they have like these holes that are like drilled right here. I think one, two, three or something like that. And they're on the OEM lens. Um, let's see if I can show y'all real quick. Give me a second. So put that to the side real quick. All right, so let me show y'all real quick. You see that hole right there? There's a hole right there. There's one on the edge over here, then there's another one. Oh, maybe it's just two, actually. Yeah, it's just two. So I noticed that those holes were there, and I was like, man, I never, you know, I never noticed that that these new ones didn't have that. So it's not a big deal though, because honestly, if that's for venting out, you know, vapor and water or whatever, stuff like that, or heat in general, if water gets in there somehow, I don't really mind it, but at the same time, if I end up having an issue with these, I'll just take these back out and I'll just do a, I'll just I'll just drill some holes and call it a day. So that's pretty much all I really want to say about it. But other than that, it's no big dilly. So let's go ahead and get the get this cleaned out. God damn it, hold on. Get this cleaned back out. Oh fuck, that just left a bunch of debris. Give me a second. God damn it, dude. Now, if you guys are replacing your lenses, these little holes that you have to screw these um, these uh, bolts back into, they're not pre, uh, what do you call it? Like pre-threaded, so you will have to screw these screws in the holes, and you'll thread it with the actual screw itself. I know it sounds kind of odd, but I promise you that's how it's gonna go. And it's not hard, it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of force at all. It's actually minimal force, to be honest with you. But, um, this would be easier with a nice little extension up top. Um, this one I gotta do this way. So I'm gonna just grab each individual like tab and just pull on it. And if I don't see it coming up, that means that it's already snug. So none of these are coming up. Rocking it up and down. All right, we're good. This bad boy is officially installed in there. So now we just get the headlight assembly and install the rest of it. So obviously the way this is gonna go is you would, uh, let me grab this for you. You would obviously just install this back on top of here, but you gotta put some more glue into the track. So that I'm going to do right now. As soon as I find the glue that I had, I don't remember where the hell I put it, to be honest with you. I forgot where I put it. Give me a second. Uh, oh, I'll do it back in the box. Uh, yeah, do it back in here. All right, this is the glue. So, all right, we'll just set that on top. And uh, I'm just gonna use this glue. I'm gonna stretch it all the way around. We'll see how long it is first. That looks pretty good. Hold on, I gotta look apart that's sticking together here. Get that back where it's supposed to go. If I can, god damn it. Hold on, let me 
get this in a respective spot. All right. So I will just uh, take a little bit of a piece out and I will stretch it a little bit and then I'll place it in here. You can see the top part. Okay, I'll just start up here then. I'll stretch it around just a little bit. Just like that. I'll take a little bit more off. Stretch it some more. Just to get in every single, and yeah, you're supposed to clean these little crevices out with some alcohol and get it all clean. I'm not doing all that shit to be honest with you, bro. I'm trying to get this shit done, bro. So the one thing I do know is when I come back around, when I start driving the car again, how it is now, let me stretch this more. It's not stretched enough. All right, hold on. This corner's kind of giving me some trouble over here. Motherfucker. I'm just playing. Not a big dilly. All right, so last little bit right here. So I'll we'll just stretch this out some more. And we almost got to the end. Almost. Now, no big deal because I have a whole nother roll inside the house. So, all right, I finally got my glue. So this is the glue that I used on the, the most of this right here. But obviously I ran out of that. So I just have some extra, a bo extra box right here. This is the same one. Oh shit, I'm burping, sorry. This is the same one that I used. So now we have the glue all around the edge of the headlight lens. And we can finally put this top part back on. So let's grab it. And this is gonna go just like this, pretty much. And uh, let me just, figure out how, hold on. I wanna get it pretty much perfect. So, give me one sec. I do wanna get this perfectly on. Hold on, I think we're, oh fuck, it's the goddamn wrap, hold on. Let me get the wrap out the way. I actually forgot this was gonna be an issue. Just got one right there. See if I can get this one. Ah, I got that one. All right, see if I can get this one. And that one's not snapping, but it's on. And then this last one right here. Okay, this one I cannot get. I ain't smashing that down, so. All right. All right, perfect. Let me turn this around so y'all can see it. I'll just clamp this right there on that nipple. Boom, just like that. All right. Now that that is done, we'll grab the rest of these and we will set them all along the sides. So, uh, we'll just do one about right here. I'll just keep using these tabs right here actually. I think these tabs are good areas to do it, so. Yeah, these tabs are pretty good. Now, I don't think you have to do this part. I think you can honestly just, I think you can honestly just smash it down like this and leave it for like 10 minutes or something like that and then release it. But I'm gonna use this heat gun and I'm gonna just heat up the edge. And what I'll do is I'll heat it up and that'll get some of that glue nice and, that'll get some of the glue nice and hot. And then, um, let me just get you on me for a second. So I'll go ahead and heat the glue up and then that'll get this, this, the edges and stuff like that nice and high. And the clamps are always keeping that force to keep it shut. So that clamping force will hold everything down. And as the glue gets hotter, it gets more malleable. It should have the lens just slowly get more and more and more into the crevice of the housing. And that way it'll seal better. I discovered this stuff. I figured it would be pretty good. Um, I don't really know, you know, much about it. I just saw videos and what the purpose of it and stuff like that. But I figured I couldn't find a certain wrap, headlight wrap that I wanted to use to wrap the headlights to protect them. So I figured might as well just use this coating since I know I can pick it up locally and I'll use this and see how it works. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is that this can is very small. It's not as big as you think. Like, 
if you look at my hand, it's about the size of my palm, or my hand entirely. Like my, my fingers right here at the top, right? It's, I can't, I can't hold it and stretch all the way out, but as you can see, so this isn't that big at all. I don't like it, but I'm hoping this will cover both headlights. So let's let this cool off real quick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the gaskets on the headlights. I'll show you how that looks right now. All right, so as you can see, I actually got the gasket on this one. I noticed if you start with this edge that has the, the like the long little extended ones that have the little wide, like uh, oval looking holes, that goes on this edge right here, which is like the top edge of the headlight. And then everything else will line up along the bottom. Then I put new, I, I re, actually I didn't put new. I reused the little metal clips to put on this part. And then that's it. It lined up the gasket just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray or wipe this down with some alcohol. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down. So let me get some of my little rags real quick. I'm doing this with the gasket on, so I uh, spray it, you know, with the gasket on, because I kind of want it to get on the gasket too. So I'll just give this a nice little soak on the rag. I'm just gonna wipe this down the whole headlight, just like that. Nice little quick alcohol wipe. Get the surface nice and clean. Perfect. We'll let that dry for a few minutes. And I'm gonna start with the first coat. I'm gonna go uh, this way, side to side like this. So let's see how this goes. All right. Hey Google, set a five minute timer. 11th timer for five minutes, starting now. Okay guys, five minutes just passed. I'm about to do one more coat and I'm gonna be done with this headlight. And that's it. This headlight will be done as soon as it dries up. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and we'll do our thing. Okay, so this one I'm about to take care of right now. I just put the gasket on. I tore a couple of edges off. So I tore this edge by accident, but I went ahead and I poked the hole right under where the hole was supposed to be. And I just shoved it in there and that pretty much sealed it for the most part. I just wiped it down with alcohol. So I'm about to go ahead and spray this one when I get a chance, but this one is done. We did two medium coats with a five minute dry time and this is how it looks. I don't know how it's gonna show up on camera, but in person, it looks gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie. So it looks absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now I have pretty much lost all of my daylight, so I'm gonna have to finish this up off camera, but I try to record as much as I can. Um, I'm still a little shy being on camera, so I'm trying to like get it to where I'm fully floating around and I'm like, <laughs> I'm a natural with it, but I'm not, I'm not there just yet. So I recorded as much as I could. I did as much as I could on video. That way you guys can see the process that I'm using to replace the lenses on these headlights. It is possible to do it at home. Are you gonna break some stuff? Maybe, hopefully I can show you some tips and tricks that you won't break anything, but if not, don't worry about it. They'll all go together nice and smooth, and this will be it. So thank you guys for sticking with me the whole video. I really appreciate it, and I'm ready to get these headlight lenses back in the car. I'm 3% battery, so peace out.